when I went to get Aaron on this day, he was happy to see me and came away from the herd to come visit, but he was distraught about something, so we tacked him up and took him out to the arena. I did a lot of groundwork with him, and he really wanted to get back to the herd, so I decided we were just going to ride up and down the fence on the far side of the arena away from the herd. But Aaron wasn't really happy with that, and he just really wanted to go over there. I kept kind of nudging his head back every time he turned his head, but he didn't want to turn into the fence here, as you're about to see. Um, I was trying to get him to just stop, be still, and then turn towards the fence. But he wasn't having that. He was like, nope, I want to go. I want to go the other way. And so I just made him go in a circle a couple of times, which got a little bit uncomfortable for my sister. But uh, then we got back on the fence, and he's still snorting and expressing his opinion on it. Um, but he did improve, as you'll see here. Uh, we managed to, to stop there at the end. Um, but he kept expecting us to go around like we would normally do. But because he was so concerned with going over that way, I didn't want to give him any of that and just wanted to go up and down the fence to try and get his attention and his focus back on me and what I was asking of him and be present with me because I'm supposed to be present with him. He needs to be present with me. So I think he was a little bit distracted by Susan, but mostly he was distracted by whatever was up with the, the, the geldings. And so, in retrospect, I think something happened out there that day, but I don't really know what. There's a good stop. Good boy. Because he was, he was definitely concerned about something. Nobody else seemed all that concerned, but then again, I didn't bring anybody else out of the pasture. So he was trying to trot off, but still settled down for a walk. So I think ultimately this was good to get him um, calmed back down. We did a good bit of groundwork before I even got in the saddle because I was concerned about just how spastic he was, he might be, and I was trying to get him focused and everything. And you see, he keeps turning his head towards the inside of the arena because he's trying to turn back towards where the pasture is. But we go back and forth a few times and he settles down some. He's already walking a little bit calmer. And part of the groundwork we had done was um, with the poles. Yeah, there's a good stop. And so I wound up going back over to the poles and doing the same thing where we did circles, but over the poles while we did it. Now here, since he was starting to respond to me more, I said I thought I'd ask for, for a little bit of backing up, which he does very well. I was very pleased with this. He's not happy with it. But he did it. So I said, okay, well, let's try something a little bit different. He thinks we're going over to the fence. So I'm like, nope, we're just going to go over here and play with the poles. And the reason I did this is just going in a circle is one thing, but Aaron gets distracted really quick. So I felt like by just walking this, cir this column circle over the poles, he was going to have to, just when he started looking over at the geldings, he was going to have to pay attention to where his feet were going. And I figured the more he had to stop being distracted and pay attention to where his feet were going, the more he would be back in tune with me. And it worked pretty well because he's not kicking things over. And if he was really distracted, he'd be kicking things over. Turn around, went the other way. And um, we just did this for a few more minutes and it went pretty well and then uh, we finished up and gave him a little bit of food and let him out.